And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yeti Factory. Our next meme tier Monday deck. We got no champions in here, so it's a little easier to put together. And we're uh, building a deck based around Enraged Yeti, getting as many Enraged Yetis in play. All right, so we're, we're going to have some ways to do this. So we're going to have Avros and Trapper that gets an Enraged Yeti to the top three cards of our deck. Of course, Enraged Yeti is a 1-mana 5-5, five five, so that's awesome. We have Yeti Yearling that whenever it dies, it shuffles two Enraged Yetis into the deck. So that's some ways to get some Enraged Yetis into our deck. We also have Tall Tales that if we um, have, enraged, have a Yeti, then we get an Enraged Yeti in play. Otherwise, we put it on top of our deck. So that's another way to put Enraged Yeti on top of our deck. All right, once we have our Enraged Yetis on top of our deck, then we're going to draw them. Once we draw them, then we're going to use counterfeit copies to put four more copies into our deck. So we can get even more Yetis into our deck with these counterfeit copies. And then also, whenever we have them in play and attacking, we have Parade Electro Rig that can shuffle four copies of the Enraged Yetis into the deck. So a lot more ways to get Enraged Yetis into the deck. Now, of course, we need to get them out of the deck. And so then, therefore, we have Call the Wild. For the top four cards of our deck, we'll draw each Yeti, Poro, and Elnuk. So this could be so this is going to be a card draw spell for later on. Also, Progress Day, eight mana draw three um, that reduces the cost by one. So then they can be zero mana Yetis. Now, of course, whenever we want some more bonuses, so whenever we're drawing said Yetis, we want to maybe make additional Enraged Yetis. So we got Chief Mechanist Zevian here. So each card that we draw, we make it fleeting, create an exact copy of it. Because it's a one mana 5-5, five five, so we can draw two one mana 5-5s five and make them fleeting, and then so we'll be able to play multiple of them. So that's another way to get more Enraged Yetis. Chief Mechanist Zevi here. All right, so then besides that, they're just going to be 5-5s. Five Let's make them bigger. We got... Uh, three copies of Iceborne Legacy in here for the Enraged Yeti. Um, so we can give them plus two, plus two. So we can make them one mana seven sevens or so on. And then to finish out games, we have Pack Mentality. Give, you know, so we flood the board with Enraged Yetis and then give them all plus two, plus two and Overwhelm. And so that Overwhelm will finish the game. So that's, that's the goal of our deck. We're calling it Yeti Factory because we just have this factory of... <clears throat> cards that are just helping us turn out more and more enraged yetis. That's the deck. Let's see how it does. We're going to just play it over in normal because it's memed here Monday and it's pretty silly. <laughs> and we got no champions in here. So Tom Kench Trundle. Trundle Tom. Okay, let's mulligan, mulligan. I think maybe even the Electro Rig also. We need to go find our Yetis. I like the gotcha is like, because Tom Kench is something that we're going to have to be able to kill. All right, looks like we're gonna have a lot of Electro Rigs. We don't have like any way to do six damage besides like Thermogenic Beam. That's like our, our one way of like one of a singular card to try to kill Tom Kench with. Maybe this gotcha will do some work. Alright, definitely leading with Trapper, of course. Get the Enraged Yeti with us as fast as possible. Cool, we'll take another Trapper. Alright, and we'll block here. We'll just trade. Make it easier for pol Parade Electro Rig to get through. Hmm. The trap is set. All right, let's get another Yeti. Took the bait. Put on the trail. Tread carefully. They walked around. Right, this is gonna be a battle of the Yetis. Oh, they drew their Yeti. I wish we would have drawn ours, because we would have had Electro Rig plus Yeti. Alright, so we drew one now. I don't think that they're going to be able to kill mine immediately. And we get to get this Iceborne Legacy out here first. Alright, ours are seven sevens. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. <clears throat> so I can get another one by playing Progress Day. 
So we, we know that the, we know the top card right now is Enraged Yeti. So I can go Progress Day, we draw it, it costs zero, and then I can play it. And then it's difficult for them to capture them because they're seven sevens. Or I just go Double Parade Electro Rig, they capture one of my Electro Rigs. They block the other one. But then we get more Enraged Yetis into the deck before our Progress Day. I guess we do that. Gross. It's too late now. Yeah, this Tom Kench is going to be a huge problem. They have a way to efficiently, effectively get rid of 7-7s. Seven sevens. Looks like we're gonna, just going to get run over here. Did a better job drawing there in Rage Yetis. They should just be attacking with everything. I don't know what they're doing. Alright, so we can take five. Yes, Iceborne Legacy will boost new... Yes, it will boost um, all, like, yep. Any, like, new Enraged Yetis we create. Yep. Wow, I should have done that first. Oh, I should have done that first. Forecasting this Enraged Yeti. Oh, punish. I'm sure there's something for my taste. So that'll summon another Enraged Yeti. And so yeah, as you can see, they continue to get the so they'll always have they'll always be seven sevens. Come on in. I hope they can't protect Tom Kench. I really hope they can't protect Tom Kench. It's a risky play, but we're... Ugh, they can. Risky play, but we're in trouble. We would get back a you know, Parade Electro Rig and another Enraged Yeti. Which would have been nice. Leveled up Misfortune? Yeah, GG's. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Fresh out of mercy. Time to make some coin. I do enjoy prospecting. <laughs> Still dead. Fortunately, they could protect their Tom Kench. And then, obviously, the leveled up Misfortune. Alright, Twisted Fizz. So we're not going to really have any defense for Fizz besides... I mean, I guess we have, like, Gotcha and, and um, Mystic Shot. See, Call of the Wild gets uh, shuffled in. That's, that's something we want much later. But Elusives are going to be a, a problem. For us, we're gonna have to try to be kind of fast. Yep, yep, yep. Or to they're probably never gonna kill my Yeti Yearling. They may not ever attack with anything that we get to have the Yeti Yearling die. Okay, uh, well, I guess that, no, that doesn't really help. It doesn't help kill my Yeti Yearling. But, maybe they can't attack me, they don't have a spell to give Fizz Elusive, and they can't attack, past, past me. That'd be nice. Cool, that just gives us a little bit more time. Hmm. 
No enraged yet, he. Taking down the spray fin. Hmm. That's rough. No enrage Eddie this turn. I guess. Yeah, so I guess we have to play progress day. Right? Yeah, because I mean we can't really do these other things. It's like a thermogenic beam, the narwhal. Certainly could have used that Enraged Yeti before, like, one of those first two cards. I'm not playing Enraged Yeti yet because we need to counterfeit copies it. But we're probably dead next turn. To this fizz. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we're not dead next turn to the fizz. Okay. So we're going to. We got six mana. So that's one. Two. These stories were true. I use Gotcha and Thermogen Beam. Maybe they don't have two spells that protect fizz. I'm through waiting. Yeah, with just two mana, they probably can't protect Fizz with two spells, right? It's my hope. They need like a spell plus warning shot. So hopefully no warning shot. That's five out of six. Come on, let this happen. Yuck. Well, I tried. Hey, tea and biscuits. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, our second sub of the day. From tea and biscuits. Unfortunately, we just die too fast, but see, this is like a, a cool combo with, sorry. So this is a, a cool combo, you know, of getting zero mana and rage yetis that we keep drawing. Um, and then, you know, Iceborne legacy with them and stuff. We are gonna have an awesome turn next turn, but we're just dead here to these elusives. Alejandro, getting that resub in here also. And kind of the same thing with so yeah, we, we probably would have won that with no warning shot, and if our other opponent couldn't protect their Tom Kench. I don't know, they still drew the misfortune, but maybe we win that one. Okay, Ezreal Karma. Possible should Mulligan Parade Electro Rig also. Um, Electro Rig on sentries isn't so bad. I don't even have enough mana for Yeti Yearling. They're out there. I'll spot them. I wonder if we should go parade Electro Rig next turn. No, I'm gonna play the Tall Tales. So this incentivizes, okay, no, I was gonna say that incentivizes them to kill my Yeti Yearling. And if they kill the Yeti Yearling, then we get the Enraged Yeti on top, which then we would be able to counterfeit copies 
and so on, but they did not kill the Yeti Yearling. We'll have Gotcha go for the Ezreal. One shot, all skill. No way. Yes way. I go waste if I'm in mushroom. All right, we'll shuffle some more enraged yetis into our deck. Can see the Demacian border from here. The order rewards its faithful. Um, have those support first. The homestead. I, uh, Go on, block a sentry. It's yeah, let me draw a card. <clears throat> I need to draw an, an enraged yeti. And then counterfeit copies and get more copies of Enraged Yetis in the deck. And then progress day. It's maybe more difficult to pull off Iceborne Legacy in this matchup. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. You can kill counterfeit copies. Or whatever that thing's called. This is counterfeit copies. Yeah! Alright, even more Yetis. I'll play this one first. <laughs> They're just looking at these things like, do I have to kill these? They're looking at their removal spells with their Ezreal. Do I really have to kill those? Ionia speaks through me. Or nothing said, wouldn't Academy make sense for this deck? What's Academy? Academy Prodigy? Just a 3 1? I think I'm gonna try this. Well. No, maybe not. Maybe I just. Maybe just attack first. I kinda see them using Concussive Palm. I hope they do that. Uh, yuck, another jury rig. Whoa. That means Concussive Palm on the 5-5, five five, right? Alright, so I don't think they'll be able to stop this. Now... Okay, yeah, Piltover University. Yeah, I could definitely see Piltover University being good for this deck with how fast you can unload your hand. I could see that working out well. It would be in the Progress Day slot, so you know, do which one do you want to play? you want Progress Day to draw more Yetis, or do you want Piltover to create random cards? I could see going University of Piltover instead. Call the Wild. That's happening. We've killed an Ezreal, and we've killed a Karma, and we have 7-7 seven, seven Enraged Yetis. Let's go. They're not killing these Yeti Yearlings for me. Oh. Or maybe they are killing the Yetis for me. Double counterfeit copies? Oh. It's so close. No, Call the Wild got zero. Oh, why didn't I play Trapper first? I guess I should have played Trapper first. Uh, I just thought it was... I didn't think it would miss. I don't think it would miss. But it missed. I, Trapper would guarantee that it didn't, didn't miss. Hmm. 
so I messed that up. Yeah, play, the, playing the Trapper was just correct. Yeah, I, I was just so excited to play the Call of the Wild. I just got too excited. Playing the Trapper was definitely the correct play. I got too excited. Need another progress day. Need to be able to draw a bunch of cards now, or another call the wild. I, I messed that My call the wild up. Fire. Maybe I should have copied the call the wild. Yeah, I should have done that. That I I messed this game up with that. Because basically now at this point of the game, all we're gonna do is just draw a one one enraged yeti for the rest of the game, and just drawing a one one enraged yeti each turn isn't going to beat a leveled up karma. Yeah, it's true. Chief Mechanist Zevi's in our deck. That would be a good one to find. Yeah, we need we need a card draw card, and then I want to counterfeit copies of the card draw card. I completely regret casting the Call of the Wild when I did. Just got too excited about it. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? But yeah, I think the University of Piltover is a good idea. Like, Progress Day hasn't really done that much for us. Like, it, that turn five, you know, like we're playing University of Piltover instead, that would definitely help us out more. Because, because even in like these late games, whenever you Progress Day and draw a bunch of Enraged Yetis, the Enraged Yetis still cost like one mana, and we just don't, you know, we don't have, we don't have like. Uh, cards to spend all this mana on each turn. These things only cost one mana. Well, I have to try. Gotta try. <clears throat> Maybe they don't have any stun cards left. We've seen three. We've seen them play three stun calls so far. Or play or burn. Nope, there's the third concussive palm. I see every move. Dragon binds us. Put them down to one. So close. So close. Only they didn't draw that eye of the dragon, you know, at the end of that last turn. Then they would have had to go with those things, but obviously creating Mystic Shot, doubling it up, we're done. I just leave right here. This is a good deck, Trundle Trindamir. Alright, so we did change out, prog we took out Progress Day and we put in the University of Piltover, so we are going to give that a try. Um, we're, let's keep the Zevi, <clears throat> mulligan those other things. Cool, we got Yeti Yearling, Sentry, and then Tall Tales. So we got a new top end card with the University of Piltover. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, if we have a deck full of Yetis, then each turn we draw a Yeti, and then the University of Piltover will give us three other cards. So we'll have like our, our one mana Yeti each turn, or maybe even two of them with the Zevi, but then we want to have other cards to spend the rest of our mana. 
Alright, this will be just three mana 5-5. Five five. Three mana 5-5 five five is pretty good. I think I still have to go to attacks first because of Trundle. Like, I, I don't think I... like. So I could play another three mana 5-5 five five here, but I think I go to attacks. Instead. Please work. You don't have to have troll chant. Yay! They didn't have troll chant. At least they didn't protect that thing with troll chant if they had it. We fight the one Alright. <clears throat> Another three mana five five. Yeah, that's right. The, yeah, that's right. Our Yeti factory is in a college where they learn about Yeti man manufacturing. Exactly. Trade school. Today we fight as one. I'll knock him dead. <laughs> All they didn't have troll chant last turn. All right, we'll take that. Troll out. Troll out. Am I playing Zevi first before attacks? Or just dealing three? I think we play Zevi first. Worst case scenario, of course, is still Trundle. Oh, never mind. 6-6 six, six Hearthguard. I guess 6-6 six, six Hearthguard's bad. This is our homeland. Oh, wait. We're going to draw a card. We're going to give it Fleeting. Oh. Whoops. All right. Well, that actually worked out. I didn't want Brick. Great Electro Rig. I mean, I guess that worked out. Ugh, Iceborne Legacy. Stand together. Um, yeah, Iceborne Legacy Yeti Yearling. Finest gear for Piltover's finest. Ruination would have been bad right there. Finally drew troll chant. I don't think I I don't have any enraged yetis into my deck right now, I don't think. More equipment for the field. Yeah, we don't don't have any enraged yetis right now in our deck. I could use two of me. All right, um, <laughs> this is gonna get crazy. Wish my opponent would stop killing me so fast, so we can do crazy things. Uh, but unfortunately, they're just killing me way too fast. Like, come on, let me let me do some crazy stuff. I know, our opponent is not respecting the memes. Just look how big these Trindomirs are. Can't deal with these things. Can't deal with that. These old eyes still see far and clear. Right, let's see, what do we got? War Mothers? Uh, what? what am I doing with 11 mana and War Mothers? No. No. 
No. Is there like an anti-atrocity where we sacrifice their thing? These are dark omens. All right, my opponent's so mean. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm picking my cards up and going home. All right, Sejuani Swain. Not a tier one deck, so maybe we have a chance. Maybe they'll actually kill my Yeti Yearling. We do have Mystic Shot. We may we may just Mystic Shot our own Yeti Yearling. So we can get some Enraged Yetis in this deck. They're probably gonna have to kill my Yeti Yearling though, right? Like they they can't They can't just completely dodge it. Like our previous couple opponents. I feel like they're gonna be attacking. Yeah, that thing's gonna attack. Yeah, that thing's gonna attack. All right, we have things that attack. Delicious. Yay. Operation Enraged Yeti is a go. Now we need to draw one. And then we get to counterfeit copies it. We get to copy it with Parade Electro Rig. So now we need like ice we need to draw it. We need like Iceborne Legacy. Mm. Let's get a good look at you. I guess Thermogenic Beam can remove a champion. I'll try anyone once. Tall Tales. That will put an, a Yeti on top of our deck. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. That'll start the process. Since we're taking four. Blast them. I just want to save Thermogenic Beam for the champions. This is how you can run out of cards. You know, like we we spent a card just to put something on top of our deck, and now we're spending another card just to put more things into our deck. So you definitely run out of cards very fast. That's why um, something like University of Piltover could be really nice to have. Stony Suppressor. You own what you and uh, Insightful Investigator. We can do that. All right, try to kill Sedwani. And obviously we're not attacking here. Ow. I refuse. Pass turn. I love a taste of the action. We're gonna need a late game card. Clear it out. So I saw four cards. That's not good. I 
Okay, so we're at six. And then I have a five one and they have a four three. And two cards in hand. All right, university. Okay, Zevi's good. We'll take Zevi as well. Start giving me multiple cards each turn. Well, there's that. Artillery barrage. More equipment for the feet. Swain Leviathan, very powerful. Victory. A little more powerful than our Yeti stuff. By my hand with Noxus Alright, so Yeti Factory didn't get any wins, unfortunately. Sometimes with our meme tier decks with you know no champions and everything we're trying to do some cool yeti stuff but unfortunately our opponents are trying to kill us and they were pretty effective at doing that I do like you i think i do like university more than um more than the draw three you know it's, this deck's not going to work out all the time <laughs> we need yeah it's a cool it's a cool concept but it doesn't we don't yeah, we don't really stop the opponent from killing us, and we don't really stop cha too much. I mean, we have like thermogenic, we have two thermogenic beams, three mystic shot, three gotcha. So we do have a little bit. Really what, I guess, well, we, we just don't kill the opponent fast enough. Um, Call the Wild looked really bad. Yeah, Call the Wild just wasn't good. Iceborne Legacy didn't really look very good. Didn't really pressure our opponent. We can't stop elusives. We have a lot of holes. But if our opponent, even even like the the Karma Ezreal deck that that, that all they're trying, you know, like they're just trying to kill all, all of our stuff. Even that matchup, um, they have the combo finish with Karma and Ezreal that just kill us super quickly. I felt pretty good about that one, how we killed one Karma and one Ezreal early. I felt pretty good about that, but then they just played another Karma and another Ezreal, and we died real fast. Yeti Yearling, like if if your opponent doesn't need to attack you, Yeti Yearling. Like, it was just frequently just, like, a 1-2. Like, we drew, we drew all three Yeti Yearlings against the Karma Ezreal opponent, and they just ignored him. And so it was just one mana 1-2, and that, that doesn't kill anybody. I don't know. Got some work for this one. Got some work. Like, per, yeah, it's same kind of thing. Like, Parade Electro Lig. Eh. Parade Electro Rig. It was hard to trade with stuff. Counterfeit copies. Obviously doesn't trade with anything. It's just card disadvantage. Um... But, you know, it's, it's a really cool concept, and uh, whenever you get things to work, it's really cool. Um, but the harsh realities is people are just, uh, you know, your opponents are cutthroat, <laughs> basically. They don't let you sit around and do cool things very often. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching some Yeti Factory, and I'll see you for the next video.